One of the features of this, since it used to be a railway, is we do have some tunnels that we get to go through. pause there simply because that uh, motorcycle motor scooter should not have been in here and it was very stinky and very very loud so I just let him clear out and you can just see how freaking cool this is nice historic little railway tunnel and a nice little green area down through here and again this just kind of cuts right through the uh, the 12th and uh, yeah I just can't say enough about it there's some exercise equipment I've got some footage of an older gent using that back in 2015 a little tyke was checking it out checking out his form <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And you can see just how much this is appreciated by the local residents of this area. Uh, you can clearly see that this is not a tourist area. This is an activity asset that is a truly appreciated by the people who live in this neighborhood. Just a phenomenal little activity asset and you can see the older gentleman there doing his rowing work I could actually use some of that right now come to think of it I could actually use some of those exercise machines in my neighborhood work on the upper body strength muscle mass mass and muscle strength starts to go quickly as we age and yes I am pushing 60 very soon all right and we're going to walk through this section here. Actually, we may drop over here to the uh, the bike section. Get some footage of the walking section. But we're going to head back up there so that we can show you what it's like up there. It's really a lot of fun. As you can see, quite a few elderly local residents are up there at the moment. This will give you a little bit of a perspective of uh, what it looks like from down here looking up onto the facility. Now, I don't remember this portion of it back in 2015. This installation looks to be old enough to have been here, but I just don't remember this. I think I was always up on the actual facility. I did walk a lot here, so I may not have been on my bike up there. You can see where it is over there. It has come back down. It was elevated. Now it's back at ground level. But we do see some elevation here. There might be an elevated portion of it. Yes, I do believe that is the case. Uh, yes, the coulée verte. René Dumont. 
nice little running path again for trail makers you know in cities have a paved section and have a section of natural surface runners prefer it if it's kept up well it'll be wonderful for people walking as well wheelchairs you can do it and then you always have your paved section for the bikes and also wheelchairs if the dirt is a little uncomfortable for them all right climbing up one of the notorious Paris mountains just a little incline here you can see the path down below there transit stop here just an absolutely delightful linear path through the city An older portion that has not been done. So this is the end of the trail. All right, we're heading back the other way. path you can see the path down below there you can see that we've got a little bit of fall color coming to the Paris area here nowhere near as impressive as the Netherlands I see a little red there on the vines Again, I can't stress enough how comfortable this is when you separate the bike facility from the pedestrian facility. And uh, got a nice little line of trees in between the two. Just a great way to do it. Each has their own allee of trees. Very, very comfortable. And again, having access to this type of linear park improves the health and well-being of its residents. Yes, that's been scientifically proven. and abilities
kids really have a ball in these uh, tunnels. And for you, Ryan, ole, 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 ole. That was subdued. Didn't want to scare the Parisians. And that's it. That's what it's like. Pretty cool, eh? Okay. And this is uh, one of the streets that I used to ride on a lot when I was staying in this area. This will take us back down to the heart. Get into some of the the traffic. Again, take a really good look at this. What this is about 415, 420, and hardly any traffic to really speak of, but just wait till we get to the other part of the city. It's gonna be I promise you it'll be absolutely nuts. Streets are for people, folks. Looks like they took over that street, put some tables out, transformed that into a uh, play area as well. Just off to our right is where uh, that coulee is, the park area. You can see some of it here. And you can see a bridge right there. So that's part of the system right there. That bridge up there. Ah, here you go. The beginnings of some of the traffic jam. Try to navigate through some of this garbage here. Hopefully it doesn't get caught up in my spokes. No, it does not. But yeah, you'll see some of the trees up there. That's all part of that network. The Greenway Network up on top. And you can see the promenade, promenade plante right up the steps. So you go right up into there. And then you can be walking around in the city. And again, this is a precursor, the, the precursor to what was then built in New York City, the High Line. So this was part of the inspiration for the High Line. All right, let's get to a section up here that I know because it's particularly attractive from a, a facade perspective. These arches, much more attractive than this modern sort of overlay to what used to be historic. So here you go. The viaduct. And again, you can see pedestrians up there. I don't believe that's an easy area for us to be with the bike. We may go back there tomorrow and get some footage or maybe if I can find a more attractive stairwell I'll walk up that way coming up here in a little bit I definitely want to get up there because it's much too cool to not share with y'all. All right, I see a stair here. Let's take it. I need the strength workout anyways. Look at 
let's head on up. Another nice elevated view of the city, of these intersections. It's so cool to have this perspective of the city. Okay, here we go. And again, we won't uh, ride up here since it's uh, after work on a weekday. Beautiful day, lots of people out here. Um, I have ridden my bike up here uh, on a very quiet day, but uh, yeah, today is not that, so definitely uh, not doing that. But check it out, up here we do have more of the fall colors, which is super, super cool. And take us along through here. You have these sections over the bridges over the streets where we have this vertical view looking down on the city and it's just such a cool perspective but then in these other sections when you uh, don't have an intersection to cross over it's you're just you know enveloped in greenery it's it's a linear park through this area on top of that building Again, this was like a viaduct, you know, at one point in time, it was a operational viaduct. Been around for, oh gosh, I don't know if I could say centuries, but a very, very long time. And uh, we'll just kind of loop around here. We don't want to make people feel too uncomfortable filming on their leisurely walk but uh, I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a sense as to how truly special this is very very relaxing great way to end the day after a long day of work or whatever your case may be long day of school and it's just such a an absolutely enjoyable essential part of the, uh, the city, the network of the city. Having access to activity assets like this really help to enhance and improve the uh, health and well-being of everybody in the neighborhood. Let's go down there. Let's get into the scrum. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.